Palisades Tahoe saw its snowiest winter ever this year, but that doesn't mean ski season can last forever. In fact, today was the final day for the Palisades side because of maintenance starting tomorrow. The good news is the Alpine side will remain open until July 4th. And we bring in Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods for a closer look. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Monica, this unique amount of snowfall has been great for the snow lovers, but you're also tracking some other concerns. Right, and so this winter's historic snow is melting with each passing day. We've been talking about that. New research is now showing how unlikely we'll ever see this type of snow again. This winter stands out as a rarity, with climate trends showing less snow and more rain falling at lower mountain elevations. Mike Reitzel with Ski California says this needs to be a right now issue, not something to deal with later. Most of us will probably agree that, that you know, the climate change is not being addressed as well as it needs to be for the future to be what, it, what we want it to be. Especially with a new study from UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography showing the snow line climbing an extra 1,600 feet by the end of the century, greatly impacting low elevation ski resorts. I think that's the most important thing for us as an industry is how do we adapt uh, on an annual basis to whatever comes our way. The authors of the study finding low elevation resorts could lose up to 70% of their natural snow. This is really a time when we have to do things. They're really saying with this study that, look, you can avoid what ultimately would be a pretty disastrous situation if you make changes. And some of those changes are happening. Diamond Peak is already a sustainable resort receiving the Stokes certification, and three California Vale resorts are making the commitment to be net zero by 2030.